What we have built here is a Microsoft Excel template that can be used to analyze the performance of sales representatives with a focus on restaurant servers. In this example, we are analyzing the quarterly performance of the restaurant as a whole in each sales unit. The sales units are the servers. We will also take a deeper look into each month that the quarterly sales report consists of, January, February, and March. Our goal in analyzing this sales report is to improve the sales performance of the restaurant servers. As you can see in this sheet titled Quarterly Report, it contains the quarterly report which has a table that summarizes the servers and the restaurant sales performance. In this sheet, we have also included Excel bar charts to provide visuals. This Excel sales performance template consists of four separate sheets, the quarterly report and reports for each month within the quarter. If you take a look at the tabs on the bottom, you can see that each month has a separate sheet with its own sales report. Again, in this case, we are analyzing a yearly quarter, quarter one, which consists of three months, January, February, and March. We are analyzing the performance of the quarter and the performance of each month, searching for improvements that could be made by the servers to improve their sales performance. Surely there are other factors contributing to or taking away from restaurant sales that are not within the control of the servers, but we are going to analyze their performance compared to each other and compared to the average. As you will see, we will find issues that are surely partially within the control of servers. Improving on these issues we find in our analysis will increase the sales of each server, the sales of the restaurant, and the net income for all parties involved in this business. We're going to start this off by explaining the table that shows the monthly sales report. Even though there are three different months, we're going to focus on January sales report. After explaining January sales report, you will have an understanding of the sales report for all months included since the template used for each month is the same. The only things that are different are the numbers that are plugged in for each month. For example, a server has different sales for January than he did in February. We have duplicated this template for each month of the quarter and then plugged in the respective sales per item per employee and all other information that must be plugged in. As you can see, we have the names of the employees, categories of the items sold such as appetizers, large entrees, sandwiches, alcohol, desserts, and so on. In column Q, you can see that we have total sales. This shows total sales for each server and is the sum of each item sales amount. In column R, we have the total labor hours per server. In column S, we have each employee's average sales per labor hour, and in column T, we have each employee's sales as a percentage of total restaurant sales. Next to each category of items sold, we have the percentage of total sales for each employee. The very bottom row, row 10, shows the restaurant totals. Just as each row shows how each employee is performing, row 10 shows how the restaurant is performing as a whole. These totals are the restaurant's totals. For example, column C, row 10, shows the total sales for appetizers for that month, and cell Q10 shows the restaurant's total sales. The restaurant's total sales are the sum of all server sales. The restaurant's total sales are what we will refer to when calculating each employee's sales as a percentage of total sales. The only numbers that we have to manually enter into this report are the sales numbers for each item sold per month and the hours worked by each employee each month. All other sales, such as total sales, percentage of sales, and the entire row representing the restaurant's totals is automatically calculated by math formulas that we entered into each cell. Each math formula refers to the manually entered numbers. For example, do you see how cell C10 is a formula? We use the sum formula in Excel, adding up cells C5 through C9, which adds all service appetizer sales together to arrive at the total appetizer sales for the restaurant. This is done for every category in this sales report, large entrees, alcohol, everything else. Now look at the total sales column. For each server, we use a sum formula to find their total sales. In this cell, we use sum formulas adding up the sales of each category to find their total sales. Then in row 10, we summed up the total sales for each server to find the total sales for the restaurant. 
In column S, we calculated sales per labor hour of each employee by, by dividing their total sales by their total labor hours for each month. To understand the sales report in even more depth, take a look at column T. In column T, we calculated each server's total sales as a percentage of the restaurant's total sales. We did this by dividing each server's sales by the restaurant's total sales. This figure can be used to compare each server. Some servers sell more than other servers. By looking at this, we can see which server holds the most weight as far as sales are concerned. Okay, so now that you have an understanding of the monthly server sales performance report, let's move on to the quarterly report, which is a summary of the employees and the restaurant's performance of the quarter. The quarterly report has its own tab, which has a table similar to the monthly reports we previously explained. It shows the total monthly sales for each server and also the total quarterly sales. Just as in the monthly report, row 10 is designated for the restaurants and all figures are derived from the sales of all the servers. You can see that every cell in the quarterly report is an equation and not manually entered in information. The formulas entered are referring to the monthly reports, which are on separate tabs. For example, we got T. James quarterly sales total by adding up T. James total monthly sales from January, February, and March. The goal is to have as little manually entered in information as possible. This minimizes mistakes. Since many cells are formulas that refer to other cells, one simple manually entered in mistake will change the numbers for many different cells, making your report inaccurate. Therefore, it is important to double check all manually entered in data and also to ensure that all formulas are correct. Now let's take a look at the charts. The Excel bar chart titled Restaurant Total is simple. It shows the restaurant's total monthly sales for each month of the quarter. The other bar chart that we have created shows each employee's sales performance per month all compared to each other. This chart was derived by the information in the quarterly employee report table. This chart shows each employee's sales performance per month. The reason that we have added this chart is because it gives us a picture to look at instead of numbers. This chart highlights each employee's performance and any trends that we may have to analyze. Charts tend to highlight information in a way that looking at numbers simply cannot do. To continue, please watch part two of this video.